Hey guys, I'm Megan Kimberly Smith, co creator of Mix in America, and I am here with Emma Munson, uh, <laughs> actress, writer, amazing human. Uh, we're, we're good, yeah, we're good, uh, good friends who've talked about this quite a bit. Um, you're actually one of the first people that I've talked about being mixed race in the industry, and yeah. we'll talk about that later, but um, let's dive in shall we so uh, how do you identify um i i would say i identify overall as mixed race mm -hmm. more than um i'm half white like swedish american and half um japanese american um but i would say i primarily identify i found that i identify more with other people who are mixed than I do in either um, the people I know who are white or the people I know who are um, Asian. So. Yeah, that's a big, that's like a big thing that I'm really working on not assuming when I'm talking to mixed race people because mm -hmm. there's a lot of people who, for example, are black and white and if they're a little darker, they'll yeah. say like, I identify as black. Yeah. Uh, sure. I had a girl tell me that her mom is like so devastated because like her mother's white and she's yeah. like my daughter identifies as, as black. Well, what it's, is that? it's yeah. like how you go through the world. Mm -hmm. Like I know I've had experiences that I know um, like a, a woman who is perceived as only Japanese American would not experience and I have experiences that a person who is only white would also not identify with. So it's like, I, I feel like I can't, I can speak to aspects of both, but I can't fully speak to aspects of really either one. You know? Right, yeah. Does that make sense? So right before we started rolling, we were talking about something really interesting, and I just and I and I, I stopped Emma from talking because I really want to dive into that. Um, so I asked you, how can people understand Asian culture more? How can they understand, you know, uh, that perspective? And I asked you to speak on that, yeah. and you had an interesting. Yeah, I mean, I the honest truth is I. I probably I probably can't speak on it as much as um, someone who can pass for full would be able to just because I haven't lived my life like looking fully Asian so which is I don't know now I'm getting it tripped up but um, <laughs> <laughs> <That's a trippy laughs> But yeah, I mean, so I don't believe I, I can fully, I can speak about aspects of growing up Japanese American or, you know, mixed Japanese American going, I was raised going to a Buddhist temple in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, like oh. almost, it was, at the time I was going there, it was mostly Japanese American um, attendees, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, now it's like, because Buddhism is, I guess, more popular. <laughs> um, it's hip. <laughs> um, uh, there are more people of uh, different ethnicities there, but when I was going, it was prime. Uh, when I was growing up, rather, it was primarily Japanese Americans. And um, yeah, so I grew up like knowing very clearly that my experience was not the experiences of other. Um, you know, people my age who who either were fully Japanese American or or even if they were half or mixed, mm -hmm. um, that passed for fully Japanese. Um, and by passing, you mean in the eyes of I mean Utah's. A, I grew up in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, Utah's a very like primarily Caucasian yeah. population. So um, growing up, it meant in the eyes of white people. Mm -hmm. Um, and like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, when was the first time you realized how you're seen? Um, that's 
a really good question. Um, I how I'm seen. Um, or that yeah, whatever that means to you. When was the first time that you were like, oh, there was there's like a weird um there's like a weird uh story I have about this a little bit I guess. <laughs> um, so I remember in like, God, it must have been like the second grade. Mm. Um, I went to a very white school, but um, there was a girl in my class who I was friends with who was fully Chinese American. Um, and a couple, like we were in the same like little friend group. And so there was a girl who was my friend who like said this really mean like rhyme about Chinese people as mm-hmm. like a joke. Mm-hmm. And like, I remember there was a moment where like the, the um, Laya who was Chinese American, like, was looking at me and I knew she knew that my mom was Asian and then like the white friend was also looking at me being like but because she didn't and she thought I was white (laughs) so like I was like (laughs) but I was also like you know what how old are you when you're in the second grade like very very young young. so I like I like was I, like, chose the side of the oppressor, I guess, in that, like, moment in my second grade brain. And um, I remember telling my mom about it, and the harshest she has ever gotten with me. Whoa. Um, I remember we were standing in my grandmother's bathroom, and I, like, told her about what happened, and she was like, never say that. Never do that. Like, yeah. It was, like, very, it's, like, I don't know, it's just, like, really... <laughs> yeah, what do you know. what do you mean you took on like you repeated the joke or you started laughing at it? Yeah, I started laughing at it and like um I like yeah, I just like kind of laughed at it and said that's funny and like <laughs> she was yeah, it was I don't know. Could you tell even at that time that it was like an offensive thing to say? Absolutely. I okay. mean like Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I mean, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Know. It's hard to do. I know. I it's think hard it's, to be like. Hi, hindsight is twenty twenty, yeah. right? Because I think a, about a lot of things that were said to me in elementary school and younger, and I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Number one, and then I'm like, I think about how I reacted to it, and I'm like, bigger. Oh my god. Yeah. How did you tell your mom? When you it was like it. it was like as a funny joke. Yeah, like you were trying. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I don't know. It was like, yeah, I I don't know. <laughs> well, that's interesting. So that was the first time that what what clicked for you? Yeah, it was that like oh this is this is something that's gonna be a little more complicated <laughs> for me than it is and this for being, other people like, being yeah. like me. <laughs> So I asked I asked people that know you because we're friends. Oh my god! Um, what? what I was yeah. Well, I asked Ryan. I was like, "We should ask Emma," mm-hmm. and he was like, um, "Ask her about all the things." And he was like, "This might be weird," but then he was like, no. "He hears it with me all the time." Mm-hmm. He was like, "I want to know all the things that she passes for. Like, what are all the things that oh, people are Lord. like saying to <laughs> you all the time?" My favorite thing. Yes, I knew you would oh, have one. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry. But people are like, oh, you could be Eastern European, like Russian, Polish, blah. I played a Polish person in school. Um, they're like, yeah, I mean, like Native American, like, um, <laughs> like, like, yeah, like all, I mean, yeah, I get Native American, I get like Hawaiian. Hawaiian was when I got in Utah a lot, oh, mainly because yeah. the only, like, there's a large uh, uh, Pacific Islander population in Utah. Oh, okay. Um, and that was, like, the farthest that the people there could kind of stretch their minds to. They're like, we're comfortable with that. Yeah. Like, we'll go with oh, that. Well, um. Wow. 
yeah, I've gotten like, yeah, like some people, are, well, like mixed Asian is usually the most, like, I, but I've gone in for like, I've gone in for stuff that I knowingly have been like, I can't pass for this. There's no way. And gone There's in, no way. you mean I've, auditions? I've auditioned, sorry, yeah. I've auditioned for roles that I'm like, there is no way. Like, Heyman Tran, that's not my name. Like, there's, in no world is my name Heyman Tran. You know, in no world do I have an accent, like. It's an ambitious. It's, <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, and yeah. Um, and then, of course, like, I'm still kind of starting out, so I'm, it's like a weird balance of, like, how, how responsible am I? For the choices made in casting, like, should I, because I am looking for all the opportunities that I can, um, and even if I don't book the role, it might just be good to get in front of this casting director, like, where do I find of my, like, moral, you know, line of, like, knowing that this role should not go to someone who looks like me mm. but like where are the roles for me? yeah but like where are the roles yeah <laughs> <laughs> anybody knows please call yeah me. please give us a call <laughs> um, yeah we've talked a lot about that it's, yeah. it's like there's this huge misunderstanding with the mixed with the mixed people because it's like Oh man, you must get seen for everything. It's like, you know, that's true. But how much can I really play that's not offensive or just wrong yeah. or just forcing me and this is me talking about my experience, mm. but like forcing me to like ham up the black girl. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. And I'm like or like the amount that I've gotten like talked about on my accent, but I get it in both directions. Yeah. I get it with like, you know, white women in a casting room telling me <laughs> to speak a little more urban, and I'm like, mm. let's hear you, like let's hear you try. Let's what try. do you mean by that? You want me to throw some ants in there? Like you want me to talk ghetto, ma'am? Uh huh. Or it's like the other, which is like, um. You know, Megan, you don't need you don't need to put like a, a like a a twang on it. And I'm like, but it says right here like you yeah. know what I mean? Like what do you mean? Like if I'm too pale to play this role, then don't call me in for it. Yeah. Or like if you if you need someone of dark skin, then cast somebody else. It's yeah, and it's like sorry, I totally forgot where I was going. No, don't um, take your time. It's a large topic in yeah, the, it's with a the very industry. large topic. And I, I we, when we were talking about it, like, earlier, uh, something you said just, like, has really stuck with me. It's, like, in order for me to be cast in a role, there needs to be an explanation. Yes. There has to be an explanation of, like, this is why she looks like this. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and, like... Yeah. Just sad. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, yeah, they can't, like, I don't know. They can't justify they it. They can't justify it. And for, for, um, for Asian, Asian Americans specifically, um, the roles that are being written a lot right now are like the Asian best friend sidekick to the white girl, um, <gasps> which yeah. is problematic in its own right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and but if we just surround a bunch of minorities oh, around the God. white girl, yeah. we're checking all the boxes. Yeah. No networks. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's work on it. Um, yeah. And but then like I'm sure if you've gone in for it or like if I've I've gone in for those roles and I've knowingly been like, I'm not gonna get this because the producers have a very specific idea of what an Asian woman looks like. Or an Asian American woman looks like, and that is not, you know, mm -hmm. I'm an interesting option. Like, if I do well, they'll throw me in there to show the director to be like, look, and here's something else cool. 
Maybe. We'll, we'll keep her in mind for something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, there's this other, and this is what is really tough to talk about, but there's this whole other side of it that's like, there, there might be part of the Asian community that are fucking pissed if you get cast. Of course. Because yeah. they're like, of course they're whitewashing mm-hmm. this character. Like, we yeah. want to be represented and, like, someone who is seen as that. And, you know, I have lots of feelings about that. And I think it always depends because I always think, like, no one should ever be diminishing anybody's experience. And to assume that you don't go th- through certain things is also incorrect. But your experience, like you were saying, is definitely different than someone who is more obviously Asian. Just Mm -hmm. as much as I I recognize, obviously, that my experience as a woman of color is much different than than my mother. Than my mother being quite obviously black. Mm -hmm. And so that is something that... I'm yeah. really, I'm struggling in figuring out is our our, our light skin privilege or I don't know yeah. how you would. <laughs> and no, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Like people, like, and I feel like sometimes um, Asian Americans don't understand, and like also also white people. Like the the thing that people in general don't understand is that I know how much I benefit. I know my privilege from mm. looking so white because I I see both sides of it. And, like, when I sit in a casting room with, uh, like, a bunch of women who, who look, who, who can pass for full, of course they're angry at me. Mm. Of course they are. Mm-hmm. And, like, I hope, I, I, like, wish there was a way that I could say, like, I understand like I understand of course you're angry that like there's a this girl who passes for white who you're worried is gonna get the role over you just because I pass for white like you know um and like also now that I don't know people (laughs) we've also had this conversation um specifically other white actress or like white actresses believe that we benefit from this like mysterious thing that yeah. like you know um that has given us all of our opportunities just yeah, because yeah. we're we're mixed or of oh, god the, so, yeah it's your the, time like, uh, like yeah yeah but yeah, yeah, like, yeah but not recognizing the whole thing yeah. because like totally it's amazing that we are, I mean, we are certainly getting more opportunities now than we would have mm-hmm. 10 years ago. Like, yeah. For sure. Oh, oh yeah. And my, we, I've had some white actresses literally in those words remind me of that. You're right. I think, like, <laughs> like, like what exactly? One, one woman was like, you know, Emma, it's, it's so great that like you were born now because 10 years <laughs> ago, like if you were mixed, it would have been a bad thing in the industry. And I was like. Thanks, sis. What the f- do I say to that? <laughs> what the fuck do I say to that? I think I think what I'm going to start saying to like other actresses that say that is, and how are you feeling? Yeah, now? Really? Like, oh my god! I, I didn't I'm, have any. Pe- I didn't I, choose this, and oh. you didn't choose that, sis. So let's just keep yeah. auditioning and move on. Yeah, because like let's have and a different. It's not like here's the thing, Sarah. Like, people are not going to stop doing historical films with all white people. Mm. Like, that's not something that's, like, not going to happen anymore. Yeah, maybe not for like, a while. Like, the Shakespearean biopics, like, with, like, all white casts are, like, absolutely still going to be made, like, 10 years from now, 20 years. Like, yeah. Like, me existing... And, like, my manager is saying, like, you're probably never going to be seen for that, be- that, those types of, like, um, what is the word? Um, historical, like, um, historical... Characters? Or... Yeah, because people didn't look like you back then. Ah! <laughs> I 
feel you. <laughs> I feel you. Yeah. So I'm like, you either have to, yeah, because it's basically them being like, we either need to ignore it in yeah. costume, yeah. or we need to have justify it with yeah, the we, rest of yeah. the cast. Oh, absolutely. But, but that, honestly, like, that, you were even touching, that's like, with classical, that's even with film all the time. I literally think all the time, I read a script, I'm like, this is amazing. I would love to play this character. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I know I can tackle this. But then I'm like... Oh shit! They're they're my, the people playing my parents are a big part in this. Well, uh, yeah. they the, hopefully yeah. they're seeing all yeah. the colors of, of the oh, rainbow. Sure. They're gonna cast me because it's like question mark. Yeah. Apparently, like, yeah, we are like the idea of ethnically ambiguous. I had never heard that so much than in college. Yeah. We went to the same ambiguous. college. We yeah. met in acting school, <laughs> but I didn't. I I don't think I knew what you were until mm-hmm. I graduated. And I we talked like about it. a lot of people. Ethnically ambiguous was actually like a word that I kind of got slapped around with a lot really? growing up. Oh wow. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's. I don't know. That's but. Yeah, it's, I don't know what it. Well, um, also also one thing I just want to say, and I've. I, I love to tell people this when when someone is uh, they're like, are you ethnic? Um, so everyone could if they would stop saying that because mm-hmm. everyone has an ethnicity. Yeah. Did you know course. that? <laughs> like I just think it is so uh, interesting. Yeah. But I remember the first time that I realized that every and it was this woman from. Uh, from like England and she was like why do people say that here (laughs) she was like everyone has an ethnicity what does it mean that you're ethnic and someone else is not ethnic like what do you mean by that and I was like oh I thought that minorities owned that word you know what I mean like that that but it's just funny when you when when we start like breaking apart what we are saying to each other yeah. in terms of race and culture, we start to realize how ridiculous it all can be. And absolutely, and like I I work in a restaurant right now, and like people will just straight up be like, "What are you?" Like as I'm like giving them drinks, yeah, and stuff. And I'm yeah, like, you know. How do you but, feel about that? Um, it's not. I've said this to people before. It's not... The question itself does not bother me. Okay. Um, it's how you ask the question mm. that bothers me. Yeah. <laughs> if you ask like it is your God-given right to know <laughs> yeah. without... Because it is it is a personal... It's a weird question to ask. Mm-hmm. And not acknowledging that it's a weird question to ask makes it far worse. Mm-hmm. You know, because probably the person that you're asking the question to gets asked that a lot. Right. If you're asking that question, that person, if you're a stranger and you're asking another stranger that question, they probably get that question a lot. Right. So, like, I, you know, I think it's, you know, I think it's, for me, speaking from my experience only, it doesn't bother me so long as someone is like, hey, I'm so sorry, what's your ethnicity? <laughs> or like, yeah. like acknowledging that mm-hmm. like you're a person, I'm speaking to you as another person yeah. because I'm genuinely curious. Yeah. You, you know. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I'm really... Because they're like, what are you? Yeah, no, it's just like, what are you? Yeah. You know, Jasmine, I was just uh, telling somebody else's, Jasmine, who, you know, who we have very different experiences Mm -hmm. because she's darker complected than I am, and I tend to have the same feelings as you on Mm -hmm. this, is it's like, I'm so used to it. I've kind of made it like a little thing that like I know how to answer it, and like I do my little spiel. Yeah. And, you know, I, I feel like, you know, when I first graduated, I was using it as, like, my little thing. It was part of my, like, package yeah. when I was, like, 
on the hunt to get representation. You uh-huh, know, I was totally. like, this, 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 wouldn't you believe? And uh, like have these like jokes about it. But Jasmine was saying that she doesn't like when anybody ever says, what are you? She doesn't like the mm-hmm. what because she thinks it's totally, um, and I'm, this is what I heard. So, yeah, you know, of course, of course. But I thought it was interesting her saying like, why isn't anyone saying like who who like yeah. who are you like what's up yeah because it's like the who <laughs> should perhaps be the first thing that you go to not the what because uh-huh. the what is assen- like is assuming that we're just going based off of like the physical yeah like, whatever and absolutely and the truth is, is you, the naked eye doesn't know anything about the who so mm-hmm. it's like why start there. Yeah. I just think it's an interesting she really opened up my perspective to, to how I'm feeling about that. Because Absolutely. It's like maybe it's maybe it's just not the thing to ask right away. Maybe yeah. it, maybe to assume that like just because it's a physical thing, like mm-hmm. everyone is entitled to know. Yeah. I just think it we could all step back and think about it a little For more. Sure. <laughs> For sure. Like, yeah, like I mean I like don't expect like like, I 100% agree with that. I don't expect, like, people to, like, get to know me almost. Yeah. You know, it's just, like, I mean, it's something I've been asked my whole life. Yeah. And, like, I know people are going to ask it. So, like, in in my opinion, you can at least ask it nicely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. Um, but, yeah, like, that... Totally makes sense. And I, I really wish we lived in a world where it was like, who are you? Yeah. Well, because it brings up an interesting uh-huh. thought. It's like, if you have no desire to get to know who I am, then yeah, so why do you need, need to know? Why do you need, need to? I don't need to know. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking about it too Absolutely. a lot. She opened <laughs> no. my eyes. And, 100%. And now I'm thinking about that all the time. But what are some uh, assumptions that you think people make about mixed race people or about you um uh I can I can I can only speak from my experience I know it's like it's so I feel like it's it can be such a specific thing because but anyway um people assume that when uh people assume that I don't know how white I pass for um when I am like I am the most aware of how I look. I am the most aware of like what features I have that look like my mother's, what features I have that look like my father's. Like I believe me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think that I am walking around being like I am Asian American woman, an only Asian American woman and like yeah. trying or like but yeah. And then, yeah, also, yeah, sorry. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's like, but like, and like knowing that I can only truly speak from my experience, you know. One could guess that everyone could only speak from yeah. their experience. Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, that's true. But like, Well, I think also, that that's like, an interesting, like. And then like, when I do say like, I'm mixed Asian, or I choose professionally to go by my middle name, which is Kikue, um, which is Japanese. Um, oh my gosh, so and I called you Munson. It's all good. Uh, it's like, that's it's my because, name. yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, if you, the people who went to school with me yeah. know, me, oh my know me by that. But um, it was like, that's a whole other, the name thing is a whole other discussion. <laughs> but um, when I like choose to embrace that as like a part of my name, or like, um, I think people think that I'm, like, trying to, like, commodify or, like, make money off of when it's, like, really it is, it's, like, just a part of me that I don't think is reflected in my name. Mm-hmm. And, like, when you look at me, like, you, like, obviously, like, I, I don't look necessarily like I um like I don't look fully Asian but like I don't know it's but just you're like, mixed but so I'm mixed, you shouldn't so, look fully yeah. anything <laughs> yeah um but 
yeah, I don't know. It's Interesting. Like, I don't know if I completed that thought. No, <laughs> I well, I don't know that it's a it's a complete anything because it's mm-hmm. a conversation that is being opened, and mm-hmm. I think that's okay. And I think that there's there's a big um, the reason that I'm so passionate about having this conversation is because I I think it's like let's. I don't know. Let's talk about yeah, it. Yeah, like for sure. you wanting to represent that in your name. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, the reality mm-hmm. is, is most people f- like casting are white. So yeah. if you, that's a part. That is just as much a part yeah. of you as the white is. So if you want mm-hmm. people to know that, yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. That doesn't make you like ugh. Because one could also argue the opposite. It's like, why aren't you repping your you know, your age. <laughs> and I think that, you know, it's not really... And I know, I know that it's a benefit, like, I then benefit from looking a certain way and having that name rather than someone who has, an, has a very Asian name and then chooses to go by a white, white last name mm-hmm. or like a, like a more, like a more white sounding last name. Like, I understand that, like, I am benefiting in a way that that person is not like had to give up their name to sound more white to like that there is that kind of strange imbalance there Mm. um but yeah like (laughs) (laughs) but like yeah i just want people to know that like i under like nothing i do or choose to do for my career or like as a person of mixed race when I talk about race is like I have thought everything through so much because I have to and believe me like you have not thought about my race or my ethnicity or like my choices more than I have because you're, you're yeah. you. You're yeah. in you. Yeah. <laughs> um, like nothing yeah. I do is on the. F- none of my decisions about that are on the fly. Ah. Basically. Yeah. Not just like oh well this is what I'll you know. It's like whenever I go in for an audition I'm like how white do they want this girl to look how Asian do they want this girl to look oh my like gosh. yeah how should I wear my hair how should I do my makeup like what should I wear like that all of that. <laughs> that's something I think about every time I go on an audition. Yeah. Which. Sorry, I'm sorry to laugh. It's just no, but it's so. so like, it's like that's what it is. There's that's a what whole our career episode, movie, <laughs> show, <laughs> on, mini series. Yeah, <laughs> on like get being mixed race and trying to decode the yeah. script and like yeah. find a way to place it in me so that yeah. I can like not humiliate myself when I yeah. show up. For sure. And then, yeah, there's a whole lot to talk about with just sitting in the room with the other people that mm-hmm. are coming. And for, for yeah. me, it's always, like, being the only uh, light-skinned girl there yeah. and having to, like, shake my head at it because it's like, yeah, maybe I am not meant to be here. And, mm-hmm. and period. Yeah. Or uh, who wrote this and... Who's bringing me in, and have they thought about what all of this means? And mm-hmm. yeah, you know. Also, yeah. we have a right to do a lot of things, and I would say the biggest thing is, where are the the scripts for us? Mm-hmm. Where are yeah. the stories? Because there are so many people who aren't just one thing. And are mm-hmm. we really talking about that? Are we talking about this um, duality and mm-hmm. and um, what it means to have? more than one culture and come from that and to and to see your parents you know I think about that all the time it's like yeah I might not experience what it's like to be um a dark-skinned woman Mm -hmm. um but I sure did watch my mom cry and I sure did watch her get um discriminated against and I've certainly experienced discrimination that she doesn't understand yeah you know for sure and same with my father Mm -hmm. and um I think that it's not saying that I know more or I know less. Exactly, it's just exactly. that I know what I know. Yeah. So uh, I'm just hoping that moving forward, people 
can all just say like you know what what did you go through I'd like to I'd like to hear Mm -hmm. you know and like not putting any assumptions on you or not saying like you don't get this you Mm -hmm. you know you're you're only benefiting or you're only oppressed but like what is your experience and I think Mm -hmm. like the there's a lot more to learn in the questions you know yeah but um yeah what else? What else are you like thinking about and experiencing that you want to chat um, about? I'm trying to think if there was a question that you had that I was like, oh, let me talk about that. Oh, I asked about that. Do we talk about your parents? How did people view and see your parents? Oh, yes. This was one I was going to talk about. This was one. Um, well, okay, so uh, let me, like, break apart, like, the the normal interaction with someone who, like, approaches me asking about my ethnicity. Oh, boy. Um, so they will come up to me and be like, they'll either ask it nicely or they won't. Yep. Um, I will usually answer, uh, I'm half Japanese, because you can guess the other half's white. (laughs) Like, because that's what they're looking for. They're looking for... Well, the thing that is not what they are, which is white, <laughs> um, yeah. usually. Yeah. Um, actually, I have had, like, I used to live in Harlem, and so many, a lot of black people immediately know yeah, that I am half that is white so and half true. Asian. Well, and Same it's, I, I, of course, don't want to speak to their experience, but I think it's because black people have to be aware of that. They see features more, in my experience. Mm-hmm. Black people are like, <laughs> for on but a it's like, they they usually don't ask. They're usually just like, "You're half white and half Asian," and I'm like, "Yes," uh, but yeah. Um, anyway, but <laughs> when the white people approach <laughs> me, or like, oh. or and um, yeah, um, they're usually like, "What are you?" I'm like I'm half Japanese, and they're like, it, some of them are like, "What's the other half?" And I'm like, Swedish American ish, because they like want to know what kind of white I right. am that made me look this way. Um. And then they're like, they're like, okay, back yeah. to the Asian yeah. part. Yeah, back to yes, <laughs> in, in essence. And then they immediately go, "Who's Asian? Your mom or your dad?" Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. then I say truthfully, my mother. Uh-huh. And then like. About half the time, they're like, I knew it. <laughs> yeah. Um, which is, like, the stereotype of, like, oh, white oh, men, like, Asian women. Fetishizing. And Asian wo- yeah. Fetishizing is on my list um, of things to talk oh, to you about. Oh, for sure. Um, which is, like, it's, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's so aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, like, what they're insinuating? Yeah, what they insinuate is, like, yeah, of course it's, of course it's your mom because if, because Asian men don't get with white women, you know, Ooh, like that's yeah. the insinuation. Um, Ooh, and it's offensive. It's offensive. Really, it does not make me like you. <laughs> yeah, it's really offensive. Yeah. Um, and I don't think they necessarily know that that's what they're insinuating mm. because they're just not aware. Yeah. Um, and they just think it's funny. It's like a funny joke or whatever. And you have um, never heard it before. Yeah. So, of, oh, course of course, it's hilarious. I've never heard it before. It's hilarious. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Good thing. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. And then I usually just kind of am like, uh, you know. Mama's, mama's Japanese. Yeah. 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 Um, but. Yeah. But it does make a difference. Um which gender is which like it obviously that's what's so interesting mm-hmm. about being multicultural is like everything like people love to sh- pick apart every yeah. aspect every aspect totally me and jasmine um, are opposite her oh, yeah. my mom's the black parent and her dad is the black parent mm-hmm. we and we're like dying to get our whole family together to oh, interview and to hear like our moms talk about what it was like because the even just like the who is like which parent is a minority yeah it changes so many Absolutely. dynamics and it's like like at my temple growing up um we had we had a like a couple 
it was mostly everyone who was there was full Japanese American. Mm. Um, but we had a couple other families that were mixed. And, um, and, uh, I remember like sitting eating lunch with like a bunch of the kids from the temple and one of them was like talking about another girl who went to another temple and they were they were like oh she's she's Hapa right and they were like yeah yeah she's yeah, what yeah. Hapa uh, so Hapa is it's a term uh, for it's a so it's a Pacific Islander term that it usually means like half Hawaiian. Um, oh. But because there are a lot of Asians in Hawaii, they kind of picked up that term. So it's a term that, like, doesn't really belong t to Asian Americans. Um, <laughs> but it's kind of one of the only words that is accessible to us, if that makes sense. Um, so I actually don't use that word a lot. Um, because it's not just because accurate, it's not, right? Well, I mean... Uh, it means half, like oh okay, in okay. Hawaiian though, in native Hawaiian. Okay, so, like, okay. The native Pacific, like Hawaiian Islanders use that term. Okay, I see. And I then see. it got picked up by the Asians who Asian Americans, Asians who ended up living there. Um, so I try not to use that term because some Pacific Islanders find it like offensive that like that word is has been taken from them and applied to the Asian Asian American community. Um, so I try not to use that. Um, the Japanese word is hafu, but hafu. that's not used. It was offensive for a while, but like now it's kind of not. Um, but that's only that's a specifically Japanese word. Okay. It's not used wide. The, the one that is used most widespread around the Asian American community is Hapa. Hapa. Um, yeah. yeah. So, if I say Hapa... Uh-huh. It's not... It's, it's like... It's not necessarily... It's not, like, offensive. Okay. So, it's not, I like, think, mulatto. No. Okay. No, 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 no. Um, yeah. A lot of... It's actually a lot of mixed Asians identify use that word as like this is how I identify. Mm -hmm. um, I try not to. I I mean it. I don't have a problem with people like you know. It's it's like how you identify. It's right. Whatever feels right to you. Um, I don't. I have a weird feeling about the colonization of that word so mm -hmm. I don't use it for you, I yeah. try I don't use it for me yeah um but yeah um so anyway back to the story we're eating lunch they were like yeah she's hot but da, 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 da. um and then someone was like oh no she's a unicorn and I was like what what does that mean and they were like oh it means her her dad's Asian and her mom is white <laughs> so like <laughs> like it's so rare. like it's so rare <laughs> even though it's like actually not that rare like I know a bunch of people who are mixed who who have Asian fathers and white mothers but um that's just like a funny little story whoa but, yeah unicorn unicorn my god um, <laughs> the words the words the words, the really... words are yeah and it's hard to keep up and understand why something's offensive. And I brought up mulatto sure. because I my mom called me mulatto my whole life. Really? Yeah, she's like, get your like mulatto butt over here. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, I remember when someone was like, <gasps> and it wasn't until I watched a doc, like one of the first documentaries I ever saw about um, mixed people, and they were like breaking down why mulatto is not okay. And I was yeah. like, same with mutt. My mom was, would cackle, call me mutt. And I was like, I didn't know it was bad. Yeah. And so when I would call, t I would be like, people would be like, what are you? And I was a little girl, I'd be like, I'm a mutt. I'm <laughs> this, this, this. <laughs> and then you talk to other people and they're like, I cannot believe people call me a, a, a freaking dog. I can't believe yeah. it. And I was like, oh, I thought it was cute. Yeah, you know, but, but, well, you but, don't have the historical, you can't have the historical well, knowledge of well, the child. Exactly, but then it's like how much I didn't even question it until I did. 
And yeah. I was like, oh, whoa. And, and But also, I think that's why it's so important to ask before you, for everybody to ask before you speak and call someone something because we're all coming from a different place and sure. what is like offensive to one might be totally fine to another. I mean, there's some words that are a little more obviously not okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it's it's interesting. That's why I ask. It's like, and like it, for, for Hop, I wonder, like, mm-hmm. I didn't know if like, if you say it, it's fine. But if I call it to you, is it like, no, you know, no. but, but that's a real question. Like, yeah, I don't think people, people know at all. Because mm-hmm. um, we're just now having the conversation about, you know, especially like the black conversation is happening. Mm-hmm. I think we're like scratching the Asian conversation. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's still like to all the boys I've loved before on Netflix. It's yeah, a mixed yeah. Um, I mean, Crazy Rich Asians has a bunch of people. There was a big drama when they cast uh, the the lead male. I'm forgetting his name right now. Oh, I don't know. But uh, when they cast the lead male, he's half white. Half like, Asian. Like the actor half... is half Asian and half white. But I mean, he's done interviews and been like, "I identify as Asian because that's all I, you know, that's what I've looked." Like looked and lived my life right my whole life right so, um but there was like a huge like thing on twitter or something about it interesting about, right like uh and like i think a couple of asian celebrity asian american celebrity asian american celebrities um saying like this is erasure like this is this was our you know our time like, this was supposed to be a movie for us and like the fact that the lead mm-hmm. male is like mixed race is you know oh they, they've since like apologized about that but huh you know. it's just interesting because i know there was a lot of uh controversy over like was it emma stone who like... oh yeah <laughs> See, that's a role I should have played. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Now that... Because they wanted someone who is mixed age. Mixed, well, I mean, okay, maybe second thought. I shouldn't have played that role because they wanted someone who was specifically half white, quarter Pacific Islander, quarter, quarter Asian, I mm-hmm. think. Um, and Emma Stone is Emma Stone is white, right? Period. Okay. End uh, of conversation. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You know, um, but like, and the director, upon like questions, because there should be questions when one hundred percent questions. Um, he was like, "Well, I'm basing her off of someone I met when I was in Hawaii, who was a redhead, had light eyes." Who was that ethnic makeup? Oh, who looked like Emma who Stone. Looked like Emma Stone. Got it, got it, got it. But like they gave her a tan. Also, it helps that it's Emma Stone that yeah, looks it like helps. <laughs> yeah. also, also helpful. Also helpful. Yeah. Um, but like it's like if you're gonna get that specific, if you're going to make the effort to get that specific, like get the whole thing. At least like try make the effort yeah. and I mean like he, he said he like looked at a bunch of people for that role and there, like no one could deliver deliver like Emma Stone could wow. which you yeah, know maybe. she's got an Oscar so give it to her who can yeah, her? <laughs> yeah see but, I, I think like I always hear the conversation it's like then just change it if you're yeah. not if you're gonna pretend like you're doing this thing just change the role to white I feel like, the same don't I feel the same. I, don't I, even don't go through the motions. Yeah, of like I think I think like um, just like for one second, t- saying why I think you could have played that is mm-hmm. because um, it's not something that is out of your un- realm of understanding. Like mm-hmm. it's like I do understand the uh, African American experience and what. Yeah, I'm not. I don't have the exact same as my mother. Mm-hmm. Cer- certainly yeah. not. Uh, so when I'm playing the role, 
it's going to be in my reality. Yeah. So you know what I mean? But like, it's not like the same as casting a white girl as a, as yeah. a black girl or as a mixed girl because it's like, she doesn't understand what it yeah. means. Like, you understand mm-hmm. what it means. So I think like, it's it's not like, wow, you, you can't tell that story. I think it's mm-hmm. more like, let's be specific about people, yeah, right? Like, sure. let's be specific and let's not pretend. I think that's the big thing. Yeah. I, like, let's not pretend mm-hmm. at this point. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, let's sure. address it and mm-hmm. then we don't need to worry. And I think there's enough actors in the world that we can find the people. But that's just my... That, that whole, like... They couldn't find. Uh, I think it, I, it. I think it was Aladdin. They like had this. Uh, they they were ma- they're making like a live action Aladdin. Uh-huh. They had this whole worldwide casting search, and they were like, "We can't find him." And I'm like, "Can't uh. you? <laughs> can't you? Yeah, um, that's like, interesting. You can't find him." Wait, who did they cast? Uh, I, I actually don't know. Oh, but like, boy. it was like. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, why don't we open up our our minds as to like who we want to be our headliners, or like understand that like you might have to put a little more effort Mm -hmm. into like because if you're looking for people that like have not been told their whole lives, oh, you should be an actor, oh, you should be an actor, then, like, maybe you should, like, just put a little more effort into, Mm. like, directing them or something. Yeah. You know, because they they probably don't have the experience of most, you know, white actors or, like, Right. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Like, if you're going to do any piece of art that has to do with race, yeah. like it's a part, like they need to be that race mm-hmm. or know that experience, then you're going to have an authenticity with the person that is coming from that race. Mm-hmm. You might have to like, you might not have to break down of, technicalities yeah. with like, yeah, yeah. It might be more work in that department, but like, what are we sacrificing yeah. and for what? Yeah. What are our values mm-hmm. with storytelling? I think is like, yeah. this is something we've like talked so much about is like, Something's got to give, but like when we're talking about race, do we really want to give up the experience? Because I'll tell you right now, if someone was doing a movie about what it means to be a, a mixed girl growing up in Las Vegas, yeah, I would be like, oh no, you're not casting a white girl, yeah. and you're also like, yeah, don't cast. Don't cast anybody that doesn't understand what it means yeah. to be that. Absolutely. And I would say, like, I would have mixed emotions even if they cast, like, a half-white, half-Spanish girl because it's, like, that's different. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, like, I think the details matter. hmm Yeah. But I think, like, at least it would be somebody who... Un- it's, like, duality, you know, to under to have these two things is yeah. worthy of talking about. Yeah, I mean, I remember, like, I... There was, I was up for this role at a sitcom, um, and at, when we were testing for it, um, the girl I was going up against was, she was mixed Asian, but she was like, um, I, I don't want to get this wrong, she was mixed East Asian, so she had like, she was like, it was like half Chinese, half Korean, like, so she was mixed in terms of like cultural identity, but like she was fully, you know. Oh, East I see. Asian. Yeah, she was I hear fully you. East yeah. Asian. Yeah, yeah. East Asian American, rather. Um, but the character was. But the character was supposed to be half white, half Asian. And let me tell you why I know this. I auditioned for this part too. You did not. And I'm not Asian, so. When 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 they're, <laughs> when they're looking for mixed people, they did. They yeah. rope I have, everybody I have in. I've gone <laughs> in for I've gone in for half black yeah. roles before. Yeah. When there are lines that's like, "Oh, you want me to call my mother so that she can complain about my hair and nails," <laughs> and I'm like, "Okay, uh, okay, 
sure, whatever. Yeah, no, but it's very <laughs> strange. It's I like, think, like, the people people might not know that that's, like, just to be clear, not Asian and not, not black. Not. But to be called in for <laughs> it, what does one do? For sure. But, like, am I supposed to ham something? But what did, you know, like, yeah. and I feel just to not be offensive to anyone, but to be honest with what I, I literally just winged my eyes. Because I didn't know yeah. what to do. I felt like I was yeah. being put For in a sure. silly situation. And, like, of course their idea is that they're going to change the writing, whoever they cast. Probably Maybe. is the idea. I, that's, I can't imagine, I can't imagine them being like, oh, well, whatever. Like, she's not Asian. We'll pretend. Like, I mean, that happens, of course, like. I don't know, dude. Happens, I really like, don't know. God, I'd like to give someone a little more credit than that. <laughs> I know. Well, maybe in a couple years we can. Oh, I but... hope so. Um, but what oh, we... sorry. Oh, yeah, go, yeah, ahead, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, so we were testing for the role. Uh, she was fully, she was full East Asian American, but I and I'm mixed. And uh, but the butt of a joke, there's like a joke that's like, wait, you guys are related? Yes. Because. I, uh, the role was for the granddaughter of a white woman. Yeah. Um, so the whole joke was like, they shouldn't look related. So, and like, I mean, I don't want to be like, that's the reason. Because there there were probably many reasons. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like when you write something like that for a character of mixed descent and then you just as like a producer or whoever have a very specific idea right of what an asian american woman looks like right Ex yeah like, yeah like kind of not even really room for us in the roles that are written for us. are written for us well and who's writing my qu my yeah. question oh, is, God. Who is always writing roles? who is writing those roles because <laughs> i feel like mixed girls I'm literally not, I told my mom this and she started cracking up because I was mm -hmm. like, I'm not mixed enough for the mix, like, yes. my hair yeah. isn't quite right no. because sometimes I can do my hair like this, right? Uh -huh. I could also, my hair can be huge, and as you've seen, huge and curly and crazy, and my mom was like, what are you talking, like, what yeah. do you mean? Who yeah. says you're not whatever? Yeah, no, it's like, it's like, we have an idea that makes, and like, I don't want this at all to appear like, oh, poor me. No. Like, I, like, I look too white. Like, no, I understand. That is a, in this world, that is a privilege. That's, like, privilege. Mm -hmm. I am privileged to look the way I look and go through this world like this. Right. Um. So, yeah. That's just, that's something I always worry about people thinking that I don't know my privilege mm. when I am, I'm so aware of my privilege yeah. because of the way I grew up and, you know, I'm sure you are as well in the way that you grew up, you know. Mm -hmm. For sure. I think um, that's, it's an, it's an interesting um, balancing act. It's like very humbling because it's like I hear, I, I just, mm -hmm. you know, I, I definitely have so much privilege that I'm, darker skinned uh, people don't have and yet there's also this sense of not feeling claimed by anybody by anyone that because no one wants you exactly <laughs> yeah yeah that's yeah. like also very mm -hmm. real and um why i'm bringing up these conversations because i mm -hmm. think it's like there's also something that i don't feel like i get to speak on and a lot of mixed people don't get to speak on and yeah. everyone's story is so unique in their own mm -hmm. um and I think just telling that perspective is is enough for all of us to, like, learn and open up, you know? Yeah, but for sure. Anyways, do you have anything else that you want to address? Yeah. Um, I don't know. God, when I was thinking about this earlier, I was like, there's so many things. Yeah, there uh, are. And it, this doesn't have to be the only time. We're going to be talking about this forever. So Yeah, like, I mean, like, the and, like, I'm so like excited that you are having these conversations because these conversations are what lead to other conversations and like yeah. the real world where like people don't 
Yeah. Well, yeah. what do you? What is your hope? Like, let's end it on a positive. Like, um, what yeah. is your hope for the race conversation the race as a whole? Conversation. Good lord. Um, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> um, I I don't know. My hope is that we're just like kinder to each other about it. Mm. The conversations don't have to stop. They don't have to like. It doesn't have to like not be seen anymore because I I also don't want it not to be seen. Yeah. Like. Um, but, like, that we can all, regardless of where we're all coming from, that, like, we can all be kind Mm. about it and, like, try to empathize with other people's experiences as much as possible. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. That's, that's a biggie. (laughs) That would change a lot right there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's what I think. Well, thanks for talking with me today. Thanks for listening, you guys. Uh, Thank you. (laughs) We'll be talking with Emma more again. But this has been amazing. Thanks so much.